Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a 44 uh, Pro uh, review on all of my gloves, plus a one year uh, update on my first individual glove from 44, which I'll get to uh, last, even though it's the second glove I received. But, uh, at the start we have my Ambidextrous 44 uh, blue back red palm, uh, purple laces, uh, baby blue stitching, and uh, purple binding, a uh, very dark colored glove, uh, white uh, 44 logo, it's very windy outside, so if that's what you're hearing, that's what you're hearing. Um, I do have stickers on it, uh, personalized, but yeah, so this was my first 44. Um, so, and this was actually a birthday gift. Um, I ordered it on my birthday of 2021. Uh, I received it uh, right before I got to Italy uh, in 2021. And yeah, so the reason that I got white and not any other color like purple is because I was wanting to, <clears throat> I was at wanting to add the uh, Japan or Korea logo, but they wouldn't let me. Uh, they're very stingy about customizing this glove. Um, what you see on Builder for this glove, for the stock gloves, is what you're going to get. There's not really any customizations. Um, I remember when um, when I was looking into making this, uh, I got... I had videos where it had like the flag right here of some uh some place and then like other customizations but um they told me due to the quality uh of the leather being uh so high and with the amount of things that go into this glove they can't do it anymore so yeah so my name's on the uh on this side uh it's facing the right thumb it's so confusing. This is a 12 inch, even though it doesn't really look like it. Here's the, here's to compare the, oh, so it's actually a bit smaller than this one. So, that's the one year old glove that I'll get into last. So, yeah. The reason I don't use this too much is that whenever I swap to left, um, it catches weird. And it just feels and looks awkward while catching. So, yeah, I might use this, I might not, um, so. The last time I used this was that practice that, um, that was, uh, happening on that month hiatus that the armadillos had, and, yeah, it was just terrible. So, Ambetrous 44, done. So, okay, I won't get into it last, but I'll talk more about it. At the end, my first right-handed 44, uh, this is my, uh, baby, this is my favorite glove, um, at least, uh, personalization-wise. Uh, the red and black stood for Northwest Florida, as I'm wearing that. Uh, the Florida flag right there, black snake skin and red snake skin, and then gator right here, uh, gator right here as well. Um... Gator uh, finger pad and or fingerhood and web uh, camo snakeskin thumb and uh, palm is tan. So I'll go more in detail about this um, in a little bit because it is a year old. So and that's why I'm making this video. So second off, my lefty forty four glove. Uh, this came in, no, this, this came in afterwards, after this one, this one came in right after I got back from Fort Walton Beach in June, so, it's my RB5 model, uh, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze, um, so, this is one of the ch uh, channel's popular ones, um, 
uh, tie-dye snake skin on the axe and the finger pad. Um, on the axe itself, it's gator skin and then black paisley on the top. Came out snake skin right here with Shohei Otani number 16. On the, <clears throat> on the thumb, with the Korea uh, home plate logo. Which looks really good. Uh, I do like the Korea 44, or the Korea home plate. Uh, denim wrist with the Japan 44 logo. Purple palm with Florida in there. And yeah, so. And then H web with a gator uh, web with the binding being uh, red steel. I really like the red steel. However, I don't, I don't think I'd put it on a glove. Uh, other than the binding, because on this one it has the red uh, steel binding too. But yeah, so I don't know why this is so popular on the channel, but uh, yeah, so here's my RB5 model. Uh, if you like this glove, let me know why, because um, this one and my catcher's mitt get like a ton of views other than like more than this type glove so even more than the 44s or my even more than the ambidextrous ones so i don't i don't know what it is um so yeah rb5 uh japan flag right here um so yeah if i play first base this season um i'm still trying to find a league uh because i need more practice for the fall um Currently, that announcement is postponed for right now. Uh, but, yeah, so, RB544 is flat. I wear it like this. I wear it like an ambidextrous glove. So, tuna pinky. And, yeah. Mainly because the binding, like, on this is so pumped up for some reason that I can't wear it, like, normal. And I broke, well, I broke it in, like... Um, like it just feels awkward wearing it like this. So, so I wear it like this. Um, the reason why it's broken in like this is because um, on June seventeenth I received it. Uh, I hadn't gone to DBAT uh, since um, since before I left um, for Fort Walton Beach, and then. Um, when I came back, we had games, and I played first base, so I'm like, alright, cool. And so I played first base, and uh, that's how I broke it in. I broke it in by playing in a game. So, luckily, uh, my arm strength was coming in uh, more on my right side, because I kept throwing right-handed. So, so yeah. RB5. Now, the lefty 44. So this one... I ordered during the 4th of July sale. It's a, J a Japan Select. Uh, so, I tried customizing it in the way of this one, uh, but I wanted a more Japanese type glove. That's why I got the Japan Select and uh, why I got the Japan Select instead of Florida. Because usually, whenever I get 44s, I try and go for the Florida flag. Um, I really like the Florida flag. As you can tell, it's above my bed, uh, over there. So, yeah, I really like the, uh, Florida flag. And, yeah, so, specs on this, uh, red and black snakeskin, uh, gator on here. For some reason, this one doesn't have it, but this one, I'm guessing there was some sort of, um, update in their, uh, stampings. Because uh, there's a 44 home plate logo right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Uh, and it uh, basically, it wasn't there on that one. So maybe in between uh, July and uh, February, uh, it was added. Uh, I couldn't really tell with this one because you know, it's not a regular glove. It's a uh, first basement. So yeah. So this one, uh, gator snake skin, or gator skin, uh, camo snake skin, and then uh, denim, denim, which actually is also different from the uh, RB5, which 
is so strange. Like, this is a darker denim, this is a brighter and softer denim. Uh, this one you can actually move a lot more, and this one... So, I don't know why they changed it, but... Yeah, so this one's finally breaking in, um... For, uh, yeah, so... Uh, mint palm. I didn't get a palm stamping. Usually I get a palm stamping, but this time I didn't because I didn't know if I could. Actually, I don't think I, I don't think I could, but yeah. So, uh, denim web, uh, ambidextrous Shohei Otani right here with my ambidextrous Shohei Otani logo. Uh, I still really like the custom logos that they can do and that are Japan. 44 logo with the Japan flag up here with the tie dye snake skin. Fingerhood. So this one is uh, still having a bit of trouble with breaking in. Uh, it was from Pro Stiff, so that's probably why. Um, yeah, I want to use this more, although um, I do like throwing right-handed more. So I think in my next one I might get another JP uh, Japan Select, but I want to get. A, like one that's like Japanese style that like does this and all that because cause I just like how they look they look really cool and then pink lacing right here with pink you can't really see it but it's pink uh, uh, welting or binding or whatever no the binding is denim with rainbow stitching that's that's how you know it's my glove uh, I always get rainbow stitching, uh, other than my Ambidextrous 44, because that one, at the time, didn't have it, or that at least I know of, um, and then that one has rainbow sti uh, stitching, this one has rainbow stitching, this one has rainbow stitching, and my catcher's bit has rainbow stitching. So, this actually is the start of the, uh, Sugar Rush type gloves, um, so this, <laughs> oh, and the uh, Kip Palm Liner is mint as well. So it was not my intention to make a Sugar Rush type glove, at least for this one. My catcher's mint, yeah. Uh, it's all over the place. All right, so, so yeah, like I said, this is a Sugar Rush type glove. Um, it was not meant to be. But it turned out like that. Um, when I was playing catch with it, when I was helping uh, friends coach, um, I was like, "Yeah, this this kind of looks like uh, something you'd see in Sugar Rush for Market Ralph," and you know, it just kind of stuck to me. So yeah. So that's my uh, forty-four uh, Japan Select. Um, my dad told me not to get another one for a while, and I listened, um, but on, uh, Black Friday of 22, we, uh, or there was a sale, of uh, the Black Friday sale, 30% off, uh, it was a really good deal, um, and me and my mom got new gloves, um, although this wasn't ordered, during the sale, I got I bought this with Glove Coin uh, December fourteenth, and it came in about the same time as my mom's glove, so about January twentieth. So yeah, forty four Pro Info Trainer. Uh, this is the stock model. Um, so forty four white logo with the gold. Um, Outline, tan laces, uh, white welting, black binding, and then black all around with gold stitching, or tan stitching, I think it's gold, yeah it's gold stitching, okay, so, uh, this will be my infield trainer for practices, like I've said, in the, like I said in the unboxing, and, uh, so that's, this is the stamp, that I said was on the 44s now. Uh, if you have a 44, you know what it looks like. It's the Home Plate 44 logo. And yeah. So. 
And here's the second pop, second most popular one. My 44 Pro Catcher's Mitt. Um, the Sugar Rush 2.0 glove. Uh, it's still getting broken in. Um, I better have this one. I do have this one. Uh, so, I'm still trying to break it in. Um, so, yeah. So, tie eye snakeskin on the web and uh, wrist pink uh, 44 logo on the <sighs> wrist. Uh, cotton candy snakeskin all around. Uh, and then. In the background, we have mint, mint wrist protector, wrist, uh, palm lining or whatever, uh, wrist, or mint finger hood, pink web, or pink, um, pink stitching and pink, uh, palm with the Florida state outline right there. Uh, it is still really stiff, but yeah. So this one has the Northwest Florida logo. And then Sugar Rush in Japanese. Uh, and then Fort Walton Beach in the, on the palm lining for the palm uh, wording. So yeah, this is still getting broken in, but it has a really good top. Um... My dad was using this when I uh, threw a bullpen the other day. Uh, I did upload the video on that. Oh, and then the Florida flag right there. So, yeah. So. It has a good pop. Um, I used it yesterday while catching. So, yeah. Alright. Now, the whole reason why I made this video... The right handed 44. So, the specs, like I said earlier, um, is similar to the um, uh, J Japan Select uh, rainbow stitching right here. And yeah, uh, my name is in the palm, or yeah, the palm writing. And so, this turns a year old on the 6th, on the 18th. Um, I've been using it for a year, um, this is very special to me, uh, has very, uh, has a lot of meanings to me, um, there are a few things that I would change about it, um, I would change the, um, I would change my name to be put on the side, like right here. And then have like a custom logo of something there. And then have this either be Japan, Korea, or Italy. To show where I was in 2020. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that's, that would be it. Um, I wouldn't change much about this glove, but there are a few things. I might steal um, 914 ball gloves idea and put a video out of redesigning 44s um yeah this is my this is my infield glove my pitching glove of last season uh it might be this season uh when i find a league um like i said i'm planning on doing another 44 uh both a lefty and a righty glove at the same time for pitching but that will be later because Everything that is put on pause for right now. So yeah. Uh, broke in really nice. It's, it's flat. So it's like... It's like how I like it. Um, and it's probably, other than the first baseman, probably the most broken in glove of all of them. And yeah, so I think that'll be it. Uh, thank you for watching.